Well, I got the construction vehicles back out, so that means a day of some digging. Now, it has been a beautiful afternoon here. This is Friday afternoon. That's the timing of me filming this video. But uh, just a beautiful day, gorgeous 70 degree weather. You couldn't ask for anything better. Sunny, nice. You got the clouds up there and stuff like that. But we're going to hop onto the golf cart here, take the vehicles back there to the back. So let's hop into it and uh, get this thing on. Uh, it's just so beautiful. Like, come on, you can't ask for a better day than this. But now I uh, haven't been able to work on the site none uh, this, uh, this past week because we've had uh, a lot of rain. And uh, I did come out here and check it out the other day. Uh, I actually did a little video on that. And uh, the site got a little bit washed out. So we come back here and fix that little bit and uh, hopefully I'll get out uh, some more this weekend and uh, and run and and get that dirt back there so we're coming up to the site da, 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 da. all right Dooch. we are at the site now I have to answer a quick question. Somebody asked me this question the other day. Uh, what's with the cardboard boxes? Why do you have your vehicles in these cardboard boxes? Here's the reason why. So I store the vehicles inside the house, all right? They're in the RC room there. Well, these vehicles get very, very dirty. You can see the excavator, the tracks are nice and dirty and stuff like that. So these vehicles get extremely dirty. And I don't want to carry dirt and sand all that in the house there and putting it up on the shelf and getting dirt everywhere. So I came up with this idea of getting this little drink carrying uh, cardboard thing. So you can put like drinks, uh, canned goods and stuff like that. And you see Powerade on there. <laughs> so I use these as a carrying case. So that way I can carry it with me in the house. And uh, if I need to dump, see all that sand right there? I don't want that to be in the house. So, all I gotta do is, there. Then I have a clean box. And I can put the RC in there. Don't have to worry about dirt and all that. So that's just, just a nifty little tip right there. So maybe this is something that you wanna do. So, take a look at the site. You know, I talked about it, like I said, in a uh, previous video. We had a bit of a washout from the rain there. So I, I wanna fix that area. Uh, today try to fix that a little bit so that way the dump truck can uh, get up here and come down with with ease but uh so yeah now today I'm gonna be running by myself John's not able to come out he's actually at work uh, I work half a day on Fridays so that's really good uh, so it's a beautiful day I couldn't let it <laughs> I couldn't let it go away so uh, I'm gonna be running the excavator the bulldozer and the dump truck now, I have not had much experience with the excavator. John, the last few times John's been here, he's been on the excavator and the dump truck. So uh, today is kind of being a, kind of like a treat to me, you know. Uh, but I'm gonna try to fill John's shoes. I'm gonna try. You know, you can't uh, outbeat a professional at his job, you know, especially when you don't know what you're doing. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. So. Let's go for it. All right, so let's go ahead and fix this little divot area. Hopefully the, the dirt's not too wet from the all the rain there. All right. Get some of that sand out of there too. Get some, some dirt here.
a little windy out here today too. So, but anyway, it's all good. Got a few things we gotta do this afternoon, so I figured I'd get out here and do a little digging. At least fill in that, uh, that washout spot there. You know, John makes this thing look so easy the way he operated. He's been doing such a great job. Back up the camera for y'all so we can see this thing going on. I think everybody loves this excavator. It does such an amazing job. A lot of people are very impressed with the performance of it and how well it does. I mean, for a for about a $500 vehicle, it, it definitely is well worth it. I think it is. I mean, it's like a entry level into a hydraulic one. But, uh, you know, my friends, I really do want to appreciate everybody who uh, comes here and watches the channel. I really do appreciate, you know, I, I really do. It means the world to me that I have so many people that watch the videos and stuff like that. And, you know, I work extremely hard on each video that I, that I do. And the editing and stuff. Anybody, you know, if you do a YouTube channel, you know about the editing process. That's one of the things that takes a long time to really do. So we're gonna, oh, uh, let's see. Go this way. But, uh, yeah, just appreciate it, everybody, yeah. Every now and then you gotta say thank you to the people who do things for you. whatsoever on it. John's been running the excavator every time he come over this will be his go-to vehicle that he's been choosing.
right, so I am going to bring out the dozer, kind of just push that rest that dirt around. I could do it with the uh, with the excavator there, but why not bring out some dozer action, right? This is one of my newest dozers I got, and uh, it's a fun little vehicle. It's definitely not a uh, not a 14th scale, it's supposed to be 16th, but it looks a lot smaller than that. But, uh, you know, it's just extremely a cool looking vehicle. It's also kind of very powerful as well. But, you know, um, I talked about this before, you know, I would love to have some of those really cool hydraulic excavators and bulldozers, but that's just not in my budget for something like that. That's a lot of money invested right there. You know, I, I looked at the prices of other construction vehicles when I was think, not getting into it. I was like, whoo! Cheapest thing I was found was like two thousand dollars. I was like, yeah, that's a little too much. I mean. But this one here does pretty good. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to have that stuff, but it's just, I said, just way out of my budget for that kind of thing. I would be broke for a long time if I end up doing something like that. So I am on top of the hill portion here and what I'm going to be doing is uh, going to be scooping out some of this dirt so the uh, dump truck can back up to me. That would make a nice little flat area for it. This is things John has been teaching me to do. I'm just going to chunk it over here to the side. We'll bring out the front loader later on to uh, take care of that. But, uh, you know, I've been learning a lot from John. He's been very helpful on all this stuff. Right, so let's go ahead and bring the dump truck back here. This dump truck is from WL Toys. It's the 14600. And this is, has the digital portion on it. So you can adjust your throttling and turning and all, which is really great. It's been a really good dump truck. So far, I really like it. I've been thinking about actually painting this thing a different color, but uh, 
I'm not exactly sure. What do you guys think? Uh, I had one person comment and said that the dump tr truck sticker needed to come off the side, so I put a piece of electric tape there over it just to kind of uh, <laughs> hide that. All right, so I think that's good. Don't got too much longer. I got to get running because uh, I got some afternoon plans. Got to take my dear old mom to the doctor. You know, that's uh, what we're supposed to do as kids. You know, my parents get older. You, you got to start. You know, you know they'll need assistance, and so you know, it's your job to uh, take care of them. They did the same for you when you were a small little yak. So that's uh, what I usually do is I take care of my my parents. Nothing wrong with that. A little windy. Some nice little load of dirt in there. Yeah, I could do this stuff all day. It's just so much fun. But unfortunately, like I said, I have plans with my mom and take her to the doctor and all. But that's just me being the good son I am. You know, we, we got to take care of our parents when they get older and stuff. Because you know, they get more feeble, feeble <laughs> more weaker and stuff like that. And they need our assistance sometimes. And Yeah. I am still trying to get the hang of this this thing. <laughs> I can run the bulldozer and the uh, and the uh, front loader fine, but coming this thing it's a little bit more complicated. But I'm learning it. Push that dirt in there a little bit. Kind of even it out there. Now, one of the things that we've been uh, noticing about the dump truck here is that uh, we've had an issue of it actually like dumping out. Now, it could be the material, the dirt I'm using, or it could be just overloading this thing too much to the point where it not sliding out so I'm only gonna do a couple of buckets and then uh, let's test that out see if that happens so we so we had that issue so we took the back of the uh, the dump truck off there the lid part see maybe that was like the issue wasn't but it might just be where you know overfilling it truck I am definitely fired if I was working at a job site <laughs> but this is RC so and I'm the owner of the company I guess so I can I'll take the uh, <laughs> I'll take what I do all right bring down the excavator all right so let's go ahead and uh, transfer our dirt back there All right, just making sure I have the right controller. Ease it up.
Yeah, I did not want to do all that. I kind of like want it just to fall out of there. But uh, I, I guess it's got to be the material. Also, I did not hook the links back up to the uh, to the lid there. I forgot to do that. I was hoping maybe the, uh, the force of the dirt would just push it downwards, but that's not the case. All right, so let's go back up there and try maybe go for another scoop or so. Good load right there. Look at that. That is a monster load. Oh! I am fired again. Good thing I'm the owner. <laughs> So what I was doing there, just flattening out the dirt a little bit. So we got our so we got our load there. So now we're gonna take the truck back over and dump it again. So let's go for it. I gotta hook those links up. There we go.
We'll work on that. Well, my friends, that's all I can do for today because I have to, you know, like I said, I have to run some errands, take my dear mom to the doctor and stuff like that. So that's all I could do today, but it was good. Uh, we got the, uh, the little washout part there done up, so we got that taken care of. And uh, we got two loads of dirt back there, so that was pretty good. And, you know, I was expecting maybe one load, uh, you know, because I didn't know how long it was going to take to... Uh, do that little part right there, that little washout area, but uh, it's doing good. Everything is doing good. The excavator is doing good. The dump truck is doing good. Other than we got to fix that issue uh, with the back there. Uh, now, like I said, I just don't know if it's the material that I'm using. Maybe it's a little heavier. It's not sliding out like it should, or maybe it's the door. Uh, you know, I really don't know. Maybe I might, might need to check into that and see uh, if you have any recommendations or any uh, ideas what's made causing that. If you think it's, hey, it's your material that's a little uh, kind of thick, a little bit thick or a little bit wet, it's not going to slide, um, you know, let me know. All right. And also let me know about the, the uh, dump truck there because I've been thinking about painting it. Um, let me know. What color would you do it? Would you do like a white and silver? or did, would you do a white and black you know let me know comment down below let me know what you think all right my friends so thank you for watching and i will see y'all in another construction video <laughs> all right my friends take care and i will see y'all later